Welcome to Direct U.S. Immigration's channel, where you get direct access to our most up-to-date immigration and global mobility space. My name is Matreya Brown, and I'm going to talk about how you can prepare for your visa interview at the U.S. Embassy or U.S. Consulate in your home country. You're not going to want to miss out on this one. Stay tuned. Thanks for tuning in. My name is Matreya Brown and I am a U.S. immigration attorney based in Washington, D.C. I am also the principal attorney at Direct U.S. Immigration, where we work with clients in all 50 states and around the world. Before we start, click on the like and subscribe button in order to follow our immigration hub to get the latest immigration news that could be vital to your case. Going for your visa interview at the U.S. Embassy can be nerve-wracking for many people. But don't be anxious. Although every experience is slightly different, knowing what to expect is incredibly helpful in managing those feelings. When you schedule the appointment, you must have the following documents available. Your valid passport and your, of course your passport number, your visa application fee payment receipt number, your DS-160 confirmation page, and documents based on the type of visa you're applying for. Thousands of applicants successfully complete their visa interviews every year. You can prepare for your day with a few simple tips. Dress nicely. So wearing a suit or a formal attire is not necessary, but it is more respectful if you wear neat, clean clothes since first impressions can mean a lot. Arrive at the embassy early. So the first thing you must remember is that you must be on time for your interview. And it is true that, you know, you may often have to wait in a queue to attend the interview, thus meeting the consular officer an hour or even later than appointed. However, you do not want to risk being there late, even if someone tells you that there's a queue at the embassy. So be sure to be there at least 15 minutes early, just in case. Be well fed, because there are sometimes long waits. Make sure that you eat enough so that you are not hungry or hangry during the interview. And lastly, go alone. So the interview is specifically for you. It is not for your family or your friends. After entering the embassy or consulate, you will have to wait in a lounge area quietly for your turn where you will hear your name called when it is in fact your turn. But be sure to have your documents arranged earlier so that you don't have a mess on your hands when you do meet the interviewer. So the questions that the officers will ask you depend on the type of US visa that you've applied for. Some officers will only ask you one or two questions, while other officers will ask you more questions. Here you can find the questions that the interviewer may ask you during the interview. What is the purpose of your visit to the U.S.? Have you been to the U.S. before? Do you have any relatives or friends currently in the U.S.? Uh, details about your friends or relatives in the U.S.? Uh, where you will be residing in the U.S.? And then do you have a spouse or children in your home country? Although every interview is different uh, and you should be prepared to answer all types of questions, this video should kind of help you feel a bit more prepared. It's also a good idea to ask other people in your country who have also done the interview you are applying for. Now you should anticipate that the interview could be in English and not your native language. So one suggestion is to practice English conversation with the native speaker before the interview. If you are coming to the U.S. solely to study intensive English, be prepared to explain how English will be useful for you in your home country. Another important thing to do is to speak for yourself. So do not bring parents or family members with you to your interview. Uh, the consular officer wants to interview you and not your family. A negative impression is created if you are not prepared to speak on your own behalf. Now, if you are a minor applying for a high school program and need your parents there in case there are questions, for example, about funding, then they should wait in the waiting room. Be concise. Because of the volume of applications received, all consular officers are under considerable time pressure to conduct a quick and efficient interview. They must make a decision, for the most part, on the impressions they form during the first minute or two of the interview. Consequently, what you say first and the initial impression you create are critical to your success. Therefore, you want to make sure that you bring your most helpful responses and arguments first. Be sure to keep your answers to the officer's questions short and to the point, but complete. And at times, you may need to explain a bit on your response, so 
please feel free to. And last but not least, maintain a positive attitude. Do not engage the consular officer in an argument. If you are denied a U.S. visa, ask the officer for a list of documents he or she would suggest you bring to overcome the refusal and try to obtain a document that explains why you were denied. I hope you found this video helpful. Subscribe if this content or information helps you in any way. Comment below if you want me to talk about something in specific and share this resource widely because you never know who needs answers to these questions. If you have any specific questions about your background as they relate to this video, be sure to schedule a consultation also at the link below, and I'll see you in the next video.